almost time for kids time. We're gonna be late. It's time to share. There's a world out there looking for a friend like Jesus. It's time to share. There's a world out there. Let's tell him that he loves us so. Let's tell him that he loves us so. Kids time. Kids time. Kids time. Kids time. Hi, boys and girls. Are you satisfied with what you have or do you always want more? When my friend Chelsea was little, she would wake up in the middle of the night crying and her parents couldn't figure out what in the world was wrong. Did she have a tummy ache or was she hungry? No, but she just cried and cried and she'd point her little finger in the distance as if she was wishing for something far beyond her reach and say, something else, something else. Then her daddy would take her outside and they'd look at the moon together until she finally fell asleep on his shoulder. Her story reminds me of a boy in the Bible who also wanted something else, even though he already had everything he could possibly dream of. So God gently took him on a journey and let him follow his dreams until he was finally so miserable he begged to come home. It's one of the most beautiful stories in the Bible about forgiveness, and you'll hear it in just a few minutes. But first, it's time for Nature Time. <laughs> Hi boys and girls, welcome to Nature Time. I am so excited today. We're in the beautiful country of Australia and I'm feeding kangaroos. We're here at the Gold Coast where it's so beautiful, but today we're at the Wildlife Sanctuary and we're with an expert, Tennille. I'm glad you're the expert because all I know about is our kangaroos. <laughs> well, I'm Australian, so I hope that I have a little bit of knowledge with them. But yeah, kangaroos, they're very known for being in Australia. And I guess you could say they're just like every other mammal in Australia. They have a pouch, which remember, remember what we were talking about? What is a so mammal you, with a pouch called? I think you said marsupial. Marsupial, that's That's a hard right. word, kids, marsupials. And what does that mean, Tennille? A marsupial, mammal with a pouch. So, mammal yeah. with a pouch, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So they have their young, and do they have just one, or how many do they have? They have one, and what happens when the mother gives birth, the baby uses its very powerful forelimbs and climbs all the way up into the pouch. Oh, wow. And that's where a teat will be waiting, and she feeds off that and gets her milk, and she grows and grows and grows. And you might be able to see a few kangaroos behind us. They actually have their baby, and it looks like it's falling out of the pouch, but they're still, they're still young enough to be in there. Now. Tell me if I'm right, but from my understanding, they have a name for these little kangaroos in the pouches. Are they called joeys? They are. Joeys. They are joeys. Everyone knows the kangaroo baby to be a joey, but in actual fact, a baby possum in Australia is called a joey. A baby Tasmanian devil in Australia is called a joey. So we do have every every baby marsupial is a joey. See kids, Ranger Dwight didn't even ever know that. Well that is so neat. Now I have a, I have a question I've always wanted to know. Do you know how high a kangaroo can hop? A kangaroo is more about hopping forward okay. than jumping up. So okay. that's, that's how they get their speed. So when they hop, they can jump, but you can see how, how, how big they can actually stand very oh, high. Absolutely. But what they'll do is they'll use those that tail and those powerful limbs and they'll leap forward instead of upwards. And so that's to, you know, run away from any predators or to just move into another location. Well, now these kangaroos are seem to be awful tame. Kangaroos don't want to hurt human beings or... They seem nice to me anyway. Well, these guys have no reason to run away from us. We have all the good stuff, uh, the all food. the food, okay. and the shelter and the love. So in the wild, they would scatter. They would run away from us. How, long, be a predator. how long does kangaroos live? Kangaroos? I'm not sure, but I guess they would live a very long time. I would, in captivity, they would live longer than that what they would live in the wild. Okay. And that's because of a lot of things they have to face in the wild compared to being safe here. Well, what, what kind of predators do they have in the wild? Just like the lorikeets and every other native Australian animal, dogs and cats are a very really? big thing. What happens is when a dog or cat chases a kangaroo or, or a, a marsupial for a fact, they can, do, they can actually abort their baby. So they can actually throw their baby and that's for the fact that they're either trying to save their baby or save themselves. And so it's, it's very sad, not only, only that, but they go into what we call myopathy, which is they are that scared that it can actually kill them, unfortunately. Really? 
Did you hear that, kids? Who would want to hurt a kangaroo? No. Can't even imagine. Not only that, but of, of course, we put a road right in the middle of the bush. They see the road, they don't know what it is, and that's when they get hit by cars too. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this has been awesome. I just love this, kids, with kangaroos. This has been my dream. Tennille, I'm glad that you was with us today, and I'm so glad you're the expert, because I have a lot of questions that I like to ask, and you had the answers. Oh, thanks, Ranger Delight, but you know it all too. <laughs> kids, don't forget, nature's God's second bug. Get out there and take a look. This is awesome. Boys and girls, welcome to Learning Time. I'm glad you joined us today. And you know, we're outside because we have an outside experiment to do, and it's going to be pretty exciting. You can do this at home. So I'm going to need some helpers, and I have Joseph here, and I have Kelly, and I have Hannah, and they're going to help me today. We're going to wear some safety glasses. So let's go ahead and put on our safety glasses. And you know, we've got some sodas right here. And you know, part of what is in a soda is water, isn't it? Yeah, it's in water. Well, what we have in these sodas, we actually have some gas that is dissolved in the liquid. You know, when God made water, he made water so that we could have dissolved oxygen in it. And that's pretty cool, right? We're going to show you today that there's dissolved gas in the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and build something right here. Why don't you hold these up for us? What we have is, uh, you can use a string, but what we use is a little piece of wire. And then they put seven of these little candies right on top and right on the wires. That's what they're holding right now. And then I'm going to have them put a cap, a bottle cap right on top. Now, the bottle cap has a hole in it, and that's very, very important. So we can put a little hole right there, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's open those real slow. When we open them up, you can hear a, a little air. Air is coming out. Now, what's coming out is carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is in sodas, and that's why it makes those fuzzy bubbles. You like fuzzy bubbles? Yeah, well, you know that carbon dioxide happens to be not very good to our, for our bodies because what it does is it depletes some calcium. So that's what it's really not that good for us. Now, what we're going to have them do is simply this. They're going to take their little mechanism that they just built. Okay, and this, yeah, put yours right on there. All right, Joseph's got his on there right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bend that piece of wire right around just like that. All right, then we're going to put this right on top, just like that, and we're going to screw this down really, really tight, just like that. And you know what? I think that you guys ought to scatter behind those cones because there's going to be a reaction taking place. Okay, all right, now here's what we've got. Now, I'm going to ask them to straighten out the wire. Okay, Joseph, get in here. You have your wires? Okay, let, let me check Let me check your wire right here. We're going to make sure that it's very, very straight. Okay, hang on to that. Okay, and yours looks pretty good, too. I'm going to straighten yours out as well. Okay, you got them? Hold on to it. Now, what we need is we need a countdown. 
Uh, countdown is going to go three, two, one. They're going to let go of the wires, and then they're going to run away. They're going to run behind those cones. Are you guys ready up yeah. here? Yeah. Okay, let's give them a three, two, one countdown. Let's go. Three, two. Okay, drop it and run. Drop it and run. Drop it. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Did you see that? Yeah. And it's still going. Look at that. It's still going. Wow. Look at all that pressure right here. Okay. All right. Hey, we can come back up here. Come back up here a little closer. Let's not get all wet over here. But let's talk about that. Where's my helpers? Where'd my helpers go? Did they disappear? Oh, they're here. Oh, don't, don't touch the table because it's all sticky because we got all that soda came out. Now, that is interesting. You know what? All we did was we put these little candies, didn't we? Put the candies in the soda. We had a reaction. Just the little candies reacted with the carbon dioxide. It made the carbon dioxide come out of the soda, caused a lot of pressure to go into the bottle. And where did the soda go? <laughs> Went up in the air. You know, that reminds me. That reminds me of something. You know that there's just a little bit of something can make a lot of difference. You know, when you and I allow Jesus to come into our lives, you know what? There can be a reaction right there, just like the little candies had a reaction to the soda, and it made the carbon dioxide count come out. You know, I want to have that kind of power in my life so that I can resist evil and I can tell others about Jesus. Don't you want that kind of power in your life? Yeah. I want that power in my life too. And that's what we want to do. We want to have that kind of reaction when we let Jesus into our hearts. Now, every time we learn more about science, we learn more about our Creator, God. Milka, bring us some of those grapes that were picked fresh this morning. Yes, Master. Now, Levi, I want you to take the sheep and I want you to put them in the west pasture. But before you do that, I want you to go down to the barn and fix that gate beside it. It's been broken for a while. And Joab, I want you to help him. Me? Yes. Why should I help him fix it? It's just going to get broken again. Father, what's he even going to do? All he ever wants to do is daydream. Uh, I all right. Every time we fix sons, that gate. Sons. Something's been bothering you. What is it? Father, I'm sick of the gate. I'm sick of our livestock. I'm sick of this disgusting water and this tiny table. And I'm sick of these grapes I have to pick every morning. I'm sick That'll be all, of my life here. You're so ungrateful and foolish. I... <sighs> Stop. Son, you're very unhappy. I can see that. Now tell me, what can I do for you? give me my inheritance and then I could go out into the world. I could see what I want to see and do what I want to do. I could live my life for myself. Unbelievable. How could you even think to ask such a thing? You should be punished I even for the thought. Levi, I... Levi, sit down. Milka, bring me the box. What? You're not serious. I think he is. No, Father, this is such a bad idea. You, you don't can't know possibly that. give How me... How can you know it'll be a bad idea until we try it out? Because everything with you is a bad idea. It's my inheritance. Not yet, though. It will be shortly. You're unbelievable. Father, this is an excellent idea. I, I won't let you down. Father, please, stop this now. Excellent. There you are, my son. Why? Is, is this all of my inheritance? I can't be serious. Seems a bit light. Yes, all of it. All of my inheritance. Yeah, it won't last long anyways. Nothing lasts we'll long see about you. that. Yeah, we will. There you are, my son. Thank you. Melka, my things. Be careful, my son. Oh, I will, Father. I have great plans for my inheritance. I'm going to see so many things, go so many places. There are many dangers in the city. I'm sure, Father. I'm, I'm well aware. Thank you. Well, father, brother, Melka, I'm off. Have fun fixing the gate and tending to the sheep, you ungrateful brother. ungrateful swine. Be careful, my son. Feel free to fix this door while you're at it. I'll be praying for you.
I really messed it up at that party. I mean, maybe you could wow. So this is the big city. I'm gonna love it here. Hi, how are you guys doing? I'm Joab. I'm new here. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, you are a stranger because you're not gonna get anywhere in this place. We don't like, like strangers that. either. We don't. It's I, just, you know, you need to leave. I, but I just got here. Why? <laughs> Time for you to go. Sorry. Oh, but I, I planned on moving here, and I, no, I brought all not. my inheritance. Mm, and is that money? Yeah, I got lots of money. Oh, wow. Oh, well. <laughs> In that case, I, mean, I guess we could uh, <clears throat> take care of you. That's great. If, if, do you know anywhere where I could stay? I even have a place for you to rent. That's great. I'm going to need some new clothes. And I, I was thinking maybe we could have a party later. Sure. I mean, Thanks. We'll show you around. After you've been here for a long time, you'll know just how everything <laughs> works around here. Wow, I'm so lucky to have met you guys. Hey, I'm Joab. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, hey I'm going to be throwing a party later. You guys should come. He's going to show me where it's going to be. What do you think of my new dress? It's I bought it for the party tonight. Nice. You know, what is going on here? Didn't we ask the servants to clean this up? Uh, for the party tonight. About the servants. See, um, I, I decided to tell them they could have the day or two, two days or a week. I, I, I told them they wouldn't be needed anymore. Wouldn't be needed? We're having a party. I, I figured we could, we could clean up after ourselves. I don't all the clean. Money well, I could maybe clean for us. You're going to clean. I thought about it. You know about what? Whatever. You just clean this place up because we're having a party and it needs to be done now. About the party. See, I I canceled that as well. You did what? They're really expensive, our no, no, parties. No, no, whoa, whoa. Have you lost your mind? You must not have heard I, me. I bought this dress. I know. I got the bill. No, oh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm, I'm sorry. We, we'll, we'll just spend some time by ourselves tonight. No, just you and I. No, Won't that be nice? No. No, of course not. No. Why would we do that? What are you? Look, we have this place, and we were going to use it to entertain. Yeah, about the place, I was thinking maybe we could find somewhere a little a little smaller. Smaller. Cozier. So you can't Cozier. throw parties in a small place. No. Why do you no. even want to leave here? The rent is so high here. I just. You know, speaking of the could... rent, by the way, now that I'm thinking about it, Dathan is um. I saw him in the marketplace earlier. He's on his way over. Nathan? Yeah, he'll be here soon. Here. To pick up the rent. Tonight. Yeah. See, about the rent. Um, that, I don't have that either. You don't have the rent? No, I, I'm i out of money. You're out of money? Just a like, little bit. Like, you don't have any money? Just, no. What exactly are you telling me right now? I'm saying that I spent all of my money on your dress and our parties and this place and that camel and just This is not out. happening to me right now. You, you <sighs> need to do something now because this is Nathan! <laughs> my old friend. My 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 friend Nathan. It's so good to see you. Um why would you come by my apartment? Do you have the money? Money. See as I was just telling my 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 lovely um friend here, I I'm I'm gonna need just a little more time to, to get it all together. It's, it's in several places. I cannot Somewhere. wait any longer. Uh, not a little time. We've 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 become so close. I just thought you could give me a little time. Uh, you can ask anyone. I I have bills and creditors all over town that can vouch for me. Bills and creditors? Yes, my dear. Pretty pink gowns don't grow on trees, you know. I'm sure we can work something out. Your jewelry, nice. I can help. And no, that robe, yeah. too. Yeah, See, take his jewelry. I, I, take it off. Ow, ow, there's no need to be so rough. Ow, yeah. that's, don't pay. That one costs a lot. That's, uh, that's actually mine. Bought it. Ow, you know I paid for some of her stuff, too. Here, And right, those here. sandals. There's, here, oh, they're new. They're so slow. Here, let me help. There's no need to get rough, we're old friends. Do you happen to know anywhere in the area that's hiring? I'm sure given a, a month or two or five, I can get you all the money necessary. There's there's a farm outside of town looking for help with some swine. You can help. <laughs> that would be perfect for you. Fine. I'll leave. I never really liked him anyway. He was never my friend. Hey! My hat! Try to get away with these. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, 
He won't need this where he's going. <laughs> His new friends won't even care about him. <laughs> well, at least they have something in common. Can you imagine him with all those swine? No. <laughs> you look foolish. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for Miss Brenda's book of the day. And today's book is my very own book. It's called Miss Brenda's Bedtime Stories, volume three. There's five books all together, and this one is volume three. And not only is there a book, but there's an audio book too. In this book, there's so many uh, wonderful stories to help you want to be more like Jesus. And take a look, you can see all the beautiful colors throughout. And there's stories about animals. There's stories about being kind. There's stories about um, being honest, choosing the right friends, all kinds of wonderful stories. And now, Miss Brenda can read to you the stories because look at here, I have an audiobook that goes with it. It's Miss Brenda reading each one of these stories. So you, are, you can put a CD in your CD player at night and Miss Brenda can read your stories to you. Isn't that awesome? Each one, and for those that don't know how to read yet, uh, you can follow along with the book and there's a little ding at the end that tells you when to turn the page. Isn't that wonderful? Well, boys and girls, I'm excited. It's a special program today. I have two um, very special um, kids here I want you to meet. And in fact, um, one of my programs before, I talked on the phone to our first guest. Let me introduce you to JD. Hi, JD. Hi. And you brought your sister Amber with you. Hi, Amber. How are you? Good. And I was sharing with the boys and girls on one of our programs before, I talked with you when you were on, on phone only. You weren't here, but I talked to you on the phone, and you were all the way over into what country? Taiwan. In Taiwan. And in fact, you're wearing outfits from Taiwan, aren't you? And I invited you to come back. You were missionaries in Taiwan. And I said, when you get back to the United States, come and be on sharing time with me. And what did you tell me? OK. You said, OK. And here you are. Tell me, JD, what do you do to share Jesus? I help my dad lead action songs. And I make friends and let them know that Jesus loves them. Well, yes, you do. And in fact, you had a particular um, a hard time when you first went there with some kids that were kind of being mean to you. Tell me about that. The, fir the first, when I got off the plane, I didn't know any Chinese. And then one day when I was, then I learned. You learned some of the phrases? Then I learned one word, one sentence, Yeshua, I need. That means Jesus loves you. Uh -huh. One day when I was at the park, I wanted to play with these boys and girls, but they laughed at me because I didn't know any Chinese. One boy wanted to fight with me, but I said, but I tried to explain I was a missionary, but he couldn't understand You tried me. to let him know you didn't want to fight, did you? Mm -mm, no. So what happened? And then I said, yes, you I need. Then he didn't want to fight with me. Because that means? Jesus loves you. And so when you told him how much Jesus loved him, he didn't want to fight anymore. Isn't that an awesome story, boys and girls? I love that. That was surely sharing Jesus right there in that playground, wasn't it? Yes. And uh, now, uh, Amber, do you know any um, Chinese phrases you can say? Ni hao ma. What does that mean? That means, how are you? How do you say that again? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Can you say that again real clear? Ni hao ma. Oh, that, and do you know any other words, any other phrases? No. No? But you know how to say, Jesus loves me. Yes, you are me. Okay. And what do you do to share Jesus? I help my mom cook food. You helped your mom cook food for other people, and I think you sang songs too, didn't you? Yeah, if you're a little bit shy on kids' time, and that's all right, because Miss Brenda can talk instead, all right? <laughs> it's not a problem. And I'm just glad you're here, and I love what, what the outfit that you're wearing um, is. Um, did, did you see any other boys and girls when you were there that were dressed like these? No. No, they wear Western clothes there most of the time, don't they? They, they wear the blue jeans and the regular things, but these are kind of nice, fun outfits to have, and I probably on special occasions, boys and girls would wear something like this, would you think? I do too. Well, let me read a couple letters um, uh, here. And let's see, this one here is from Hartwell, Georgia. And, uh, oh, can you hold this picture up? I want you to just hold it just like that to that camera over there for me. Just hold it up a little higher, if you would. 
And um, let's see what he says from Georgia. It says, Dear Miss Brenda, I'm seven years old, and I love Jesus with all my heart. I have a storybook that someone gave me, and I read about it. It's Bible stories, and I like to hear the stories. Thank you for Kids Time. Sincerely, Sean Aaron. Sean, I'm so glad that you enjoy the program. Keep sharing Jesus, won't you? And let's see, we got... Um, Another one, this one is from, I'm not, oh, it's from Botswana. And it says, Dear Miss Brenda, my name is um, Draytile. And it says, I'm from Botswana, and I love Jesus, and I want to have the kids' time, please. It said, um, I want to learn about Jesus while I am still young. Thank you for your part of doing kids' time, and I love story time. Thank you, J.D. and Amber, for being with us today. You keep sharing Jesus, won't you? Well, that's all the time we have today. Until next time, remember, it's kids' time to share Jesus. Jesus.